Miami versus Duke. The winner in complete control of the Coastal Division, David Cutcliffe's team coming onto the field, senior day at Wallace Wade Stadium. The Hurricanes get off to a 3-0 start, then Stacy Coley takes the punt for the Canes, and he's gone. 78 yards all this week. David Cutcliffe talked about how over the last few years, the Blue Devils have been trying to close the gap in team speed on the Hurricanes, but you see it right there, 10-0 Miami. Now 17-7. Stephen Morris intercepted by DeAndre Singleton, the tip pass. Duke gets the ball at midfield. That's really Morris's only mistake in the first half, and you can't even blame that one on him. After the turnover, Duke driving. Brandon Connett. Oh, that's a beautiful pass right to Shaquille Powell. 22-yard touchdown, 17-14. The Blue Devils within a field goal. Two minutes to go before halftime. Duke with a chance. It's Connett. This time on the ground, keeps it himself for the go-ahead touchdown. The Blue Devils go into the locker room, leading 21-20. Second half we go. Duke starts the half with the ball. Opening drive, second and goal. It's the Phantom again, Connett. He's in. His 28th rushing touchdown in his career in Durham. That ties Duke's all-time record. Tom Davis, the other great Duke player with 28 rushing touchdowns, 28-20 Blue Devils. But the Canes respond quickly. Morris slings it out to Herb Waters. And there's that speed again, 50 yards, touchdown. But it was the Canes' only touchdown of the second half. Miami trailing by one. Teams trade field goals. Now 31-30 in the fourth. Duke with the ball. Josh Sneed right up the gut, then the cut. In all, 56 yards before he is tackled down in the red zone. 138 yards rushing for Sneed. Get this, Duke, 358 yards rushing in the game. Now, it's Kinnett again, his fourth touchdown of the game, and that score means Kinnett sets a new all-time rushing touchdown record at Duke, the 29th of his career. Get some congrats on the sidelines, some love. Duke facing a fourth and one at Miami's 22. It's Powell, he keeps it up the middle. 33-yard touchdown. Duke up 45-30 to 30 in the closing minutes. Duke fans, students started chanting, we want Bama. And as time ran out, they stormed the field at Wallace Wade. A huge win, perhaps the biggest win in decades for this program. Is it a football school? Duke beats Miami 48-30. The Blue Devils now 8-2 this season. More importantly, Four and two in the Coastal, all alone in first in the division. Two games left at Wake Forest, at North Carolina. If Duke wins them both, they are going to the ACC title game to take on Florida State. I'm Jeff Fischel with the ACC Digital Network. Coming November 25th, the ACC Digital Network presents The Greatest, a series revealing the top 10 ACC quarterbacks of all time as decided on by a panel of ACC football experts. Which great signal callers are among the top 10 from an ACC school? Find out on November 25th, only on the ACC Digital Network.